Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroader. We've got number five headed up to Alarca Junction. It's gonna grab some cars up there and bring them down for switching in Alarca. And I've got the AI chugging that along. In the meantime, we've got number 10 here. Oh, why it goes to overhead camera. Bit of a bug. So I've brought the uh, cars over from the interchange this morning. You can see it's almost noon here now on day 17. And we had three cars uh, for Alarca. So I pulled in, set them off on the yard, and then I've got this backed over here onto this part of the Y. And what we need to do is get this up to the mine. So we're going to work on that and then we'll do some switching with number five down at Alarca. That's the plan for today's video. Let's go get this guy lined up. And we are lined up to go into there, so that's good. Yeah, we'll keep you chugging along and I need to take a quick look up here. Get us lined in. Yep, so we're going straight through. I believe we are swapping this, yeah, we're swapping this car out. It's one of the first things. So my plan was to back up in here and leave that car there. Uh, and then shove the hoppers up in there and then I can come down with just the engine and, and swap those cars out. I don't want to swap them out with the whole string of empties. Where are we at on the regulator here? About 40? Perfect. That's where I wanted to be. So we'll let the gravity slow our train down a bit here. We want to stay about 15 on the way up the grade. A little bit of a downgrade here and then right into the, the upgrade there. Hopefully we're not going too fast around that first corner. The uh, speed's not bleeding off as much as I expected. So maybe I should have used a little brake there. We're doing, uh, not doing too bad on coal and water after the trip over here. I really wish there was water at Alarca Junction. Unfortunately, there's not, so I may end up running this down to Alarca just to refill with water. All right, I'm going to go back to the back of the train. I get a lot of comments, like, on the basic controls. I know you can't see me pushing the keyboard, but yeah, I, I know all the basic controls, like 0 and 9. I had a comment on the last video. You can hover over the car. Yep. Yep, I know. Appreciate all the comments, though. And you can do zero and nine to, so zero is the head of your train, nine is the rear of your train. If you shift zero and nine, you can go back one car at a time. That can be handy at times. What can also be handy at times is paying attention to what your train's doing. <laughs> I got slowed down a bit there. They can see here, this is the mining supply. So we're gonna swap that out for the empty. And then we've got 18 coal cars. I think that'll be about right for the uh, Mikado to get it back over to East Wader Interchange when it's full of coal. I'll right, back this off a little bit. The grade evens out. A lot of times I have AI do all the driving, but I thought I'd do some driving here. I typically play a conductor or brake man. I'll keep a little bit of that speed on. Love watching a long train snake through track. Good stuff. Let 
Many years ago, 30 plus years ago, when I was a teenager, I was part of a model railroad club back in my hometown. They had this huge layout. It was always awesome watching the trains snake through all the scenery. All right, that'll do. Get the little brake symbol. You hover, it tells you the way bill and also the brake status. I'm just gonna let it drift down grade. Then we'll shove on back into here. We should be lined up for that. Yeah, we're lined up to shove back into there. Throw about 10 pounds on to be enough to bring her to a stop. I can switch that. Oops, I think I hit the microphone. Somebody also left a comment, how do you release pressure? I wasn't sure I, I, I responded back. I'm not sure what they were asking about. Uh, but there's if they're talking about brake pressure, so if you bring the train brake all the way to the left, it'll recharge the brake pipe back up to full pressure. You can also, for the independent brake, you can bring it all the way to zero. You can also click and hold, drag to the left to bail off. I'm not sure if that's what they were asking about. We'll see if they respond back. As I record this, I've just responded to the comments. I'm not sure what their response is. It can be helpful um, when you're leaving a comment, if you're asking a question especially, uh, throw a timestamp in there. If you just put like, you know, three colon two three for 323 into the video, YouTube will make that into a link and then I can go to exactly into the video and uh, see more clearly what you're talking about. Because it might be three, four, five days uh, since I've recorded the video. And I don't necessarily remember every single instance of it. You know, lots of nice little car noises. I'd like to hear the um, ties creaking and stuff. That's something I really enjoy in Run 8. really makes it feel like you're moving a heavy train. You can hear the... Uh, the the ties creaking and some rail joint movement, just just little subtle sounds like that. Keep her about five miles an hour. If we look, yeah, just right past the switch. And I see number five has made it up to the yard, so that's good. I went ahead and put uh, fusies back there just in case. There have been some bugs where it didn't see the bumper. That's why there's fusies back there, in case you were wondering. Yeah, when you get at least to here. You hit tab, you'll see the waybill. And they change color as soon as like part of the truck gets into the designated area. Really steep. Come on back. <laughs> so I forgot to turn off the cylinder cocks. And yeah, that'll do. Cha-ching. That's the sound of money in the bank. 
and tie on about three handbrakes. And we'll drift on out of here. Yeah, we need to go swap these cars. While that's doing that, let me just go change this guy's orders to, say, five cars. Should couple up. Go ahead and couple up to the uh, cars there. Just heard five toot. That's pretty cool. Luckily, there's a switch lined against him, so he didn't get too far away. We got a little bit of a brake set on that car, so we gotta hook up the hose, get that pressure off. or slack hunting the physics does pretty sure there's a bug report for that on the discord I think it's something they're aware of get tweaked out eventually so I'm just gonna pull down we're gonna stick the empty right here and we'll put the loaded one back in there we'll be all set Almost stopped a little too early there. I don't bail off enough. I should, probably should be bailing off every time. We put on the train brake. We should bail off the loco. So bailing off basically releases the pressure on the locomotive brakes. So you have a train brake application, which also applies to locomotive brakes. Uh, but then you can bail that off, so it takes the pressure off the loco. If that makes sense. I think that's mainly to save wear and tear. Less stress on the loco, but I could be wrong. Somebody will know in the comments. That's what I've always understood it to be, though, just to save wear and tear on the locomotive brakes. I don't think you're supposed to use those unless you're running light and below 10 miles an hour. Something like that. Probably different rules for different railroads. And it may have been completely different back in the steam days. I know we weren't quite stopped yet, but we'll nip that one in the bud. I need to get back over to number five. All right, we'll go deliver this again. I've already delivered it once and got paid. Get it stuck back up here. And 
That empty I could tack on to the end of the coal train. That's kind of what I plan on doing. I could also go ahead and take it down to the yard, but what I normally do, they should probably load this today. They load pretty quick. So I usually just leave number 10 up here to, to bring the load back. You know, I, you know what I should have done is shift clicked it there. I didn't shift click. Miss, missed the shift. I want to make sure I close the ankle cock on the engine there. So we don't lose all our air when we pull away. I kind of wish when you shift clicked it, it would shift clicked it. No shift clicked <laughs> that it would, uh, only, it would only close on the train end. that might be a, a logic challenge to make it do that. Cause typically you don't want to bottle the air. Back in the passenger seat there. You didn't know if you hit uh, control zero. So zero takes you to train view. Hit control zero. It'll put you in the next available seat. They can actually switch back and forth here. It'll put you in the next available seat for the selected car. A little handy shortcut. I'm pretty sure is in the guide. Definitely check out the guide. You're going too fast there, sport. All right, handbrake off. Get some air in it. They should have been two long toots. So I think I'll probably just leave the loco and car right here. And I'll see. I'm not sure if it... I don't think it'd fill up all three of these tracks, but it's going to fill probably at least the first two. And then I'll just leave this box car empty right here. And I can even maybe let it roll onto the train at the end there so we don't have to back up the loaded coal train. So I think that's my plan. You are not stopping, are you? You need a lot of brakes. Interesting. That's an empty car. Why are you being so hard to stop, empty car? Did I do something wrong? No, it's getting brakes. Huh. That was weird. I must have messed up something. I want this back here on the track where it's out of the way. I'll just set my independent. All right, let's hop over to number five. Hit control zero to go to the seat of this one in case we need to be in the seat. So it did hook up and it was actually pushing against the handbrake. <laughs> let's get you off of orders for right now. Get the hoses laced up. And handbrakes are off. And I'm going to let you do your thing, Mr. AI. We'll head on down to Larka, and I'll see you down there. Welcome to Alarka. So the first car we have on here, this box car, is going right over here. To the, uh, is it called the house track? The team track. Sometimes those are interchangeable. So 
So we'll just leave the cars right here. And we'll get this boxcar set over. I went for a, a deep whistle on number five. Uh, which one is that? It's the uh, Heiko Long Bell Three Chime. I don't know it just it sounded right for this engine. I'm sure that's you know wrong from a railroad's perspective, but it's it sounded right to me, and it's my railroad. <laughs> that's all that matters. All right, we'll get that guy switched as well. So we have 55 tons of building supplies, apparently. Now these are going, yeah, one each. We got mine one and mine two. I believe I've still got just tier one available. Yeah. Maybe once we do a few contracts. I think once you do a few successful uh, contracts, contract days, then you get other options. At least we got two cars instead of just one. All right, you need to be, yeah, you ride in here anywhere is fine for you. I was just reading through some comments while I was waiting on the engine to get down here on my, uh, oh, which video was it? The, uh, Mikado versus 2,400 tons of coal on the pronunciation. <laughs> I still like Mikado, which I was reading up, uh, apparently that it was sometimes called the uh, Mikado Mikado after William Mikado was apparently like the president of the USRA or something like that. So, there you go. Historical precedent for Mikadu. All right. Now, actually, the question is, which orientation do I want those cars in? I guess they could go through the Y. It doesn't necessarily matter. I stick you in yard 20 cars. Can you get in there? I think it'll, I think it'll get back in there and hook on. Yeah, it sees the car there. So if we pull up locations tab and we go down here to the mine one, if I click this little thing, doink. So yeah, we, okay. So we need to be Cars need to be on the uphill side for that mine. So we need to push uphill for that one. And then this one we can run through. Yep, yeah, okay. So they need to be on the uphill side. Got it. So we will run through the Y that direction and then push up. And there should be, yeah, there should be plenty of room there for that one so let's get the hand brakes off get her laced up so if we had a long cut of cars we would need to run around them in the yard there I think we can just use the Y here to our advantage yeah, that should fit a couple cars in that little switcher in theory, and then of course we'll need this one lined up that direction. Going up through that way. We'll push up the hill into, I think, is it this siding? Oh no, it's the end up here, all right. We just push right on through to the end. Needs it there in that stub. 
This will be probably easier once there's some scenery here. We can tell what's going on. And how you doing on money, money supplies? You're getting low, so there'll probably be a car here before too long. Bringing out some mining supplies. Still doing okay on coal and water. Two point six percent grade. If you're wondering why it's chuffing so hard, <laughs> it's, uh, it's interesting back in here. There's there's a lot of grades. All right, back forward, sir. Off we go. We'll let you go track speed. Limited to 25. At least it knows the track speed back in here. Nothing is labeled down here. It says 15 there. But I don't know if that means it's supposed to be 15 here. Well, that says track speed 30. Yeah, we should probably limit that. Because it's a pretty tight curve right here. I imagine that's what the 15 is for. Two point four. There's it's basically ruling grade back near is two and a half percent. It's uh it's chunky. Get a nice screenshot in here. There we go. I like my thumbnails to be from the actual gameplay. So always looking to get a nice screenshot. Uh tree, you ruined it. Listen to her squeal around that corner. <laughs> nice. Gotta love it. Back of your car. Here, let's hone in on the front car. I'd like to see the smoke change color a lot more. Based on load and burn rate and everything. But it's got a nice plume of smoke. I'm really, really enjoying this game still. We're, what, 20? I think this is the 20th video, maybe? There's just so much to do, especially running solo. It uh, keeps you busy. I like all the logistics of it. And one thing I didn't look at was... I need to switch. I need to switch. Switch! I forgot to look and see which car was ahead. And uh, the car for the second mine is actually on the nose end. So we need to drop it right here. And we can spot, we can spot our car. Yep, this uh, car next to the loco goes first. Check that just in time. There you go. Get up close and personal. Oh yeah. Hear that chuff. <laughs> it's it's working back here. One point seven percent. You didn't know if you hold, uh, is, does it work with the other key too? Shift. It does. I always do right shift because it's right next to the question mark key. You hold that down and mouse over and you're close enough to the track. It gives you info on the track. So shift question mark. Hold that down and then mouse over. All right, right up in there, we'll do. Don't need to get too fancy. So this would hold like six or eight cars, it looks like. 
Very nice. go. $67 for dropping that off. Alright, let me grab this car. We'll go spot that one and we'll be done for the day. Wow. Okay, literally as I was backing up, it filled that car. <laughs> that was quick. They are fast here at the Copper Mine, so I guess we'll uh, take that with us. <laughs> I'll see you over at the other mine. The other mine spot. Want to get a shot of him coming around the corner here. AI was really struggling to keep that at 15. Going to switch from massive downhill to massive uphill. 2.6%. All right, here, we're up here at the other mine site. And we need to get this car spotted right back in there. I'm gonna drop this guy off right here, I think. And then I'll take the empty up. If it loads as quick as the other one, then we'll have three cars to take back down the grid. That'll do. And then, yeah, that stub right back in there is the load track. Oh, it recoupled. There we go. It happens sometimes, especially on a grade. So I'm just going to pull back in here. If it instantly loads that up, then we're all set have three big loads of copper ore ready to go back to the interchange. Pump you up to 10. I'm also curious if it will just take the car off the engine or if it has to be uncoupled. All right, we've made it here. I have to put a handbrake on? No. So it sees that it was delivered. Will it just take it? Let's find out. Yes, it will. Never mind. I was getting ready to pause the video. <laughs> That's quick. I didn't even have to uh, to put a brake in there. All right. Good deal. Well, I think I'll just hook onto this end of those guys. So I'll pull forward about 10 cars. set these back to green and I'm gonna just roll this guy down so he's in front oh it stole my air when it took the car it didn't close the angle cock there you go little engine sorry about that I didn't want that car to get away from me, so. He might be broken now. Because of the leaking air. There we go. I think the leaking air got him into like a stopped state. You okay there, buddy? What's your deal? Make sure that angle cocks all the way closed.
Yeah, so it's closed. Why are you broken, though? Bug? Oh, did it set the did it set the handbrake or something? Oh, it set the handbrake on the tender. And the loco. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Maybe because the air was leaking, the AI does that? Alright. Well, we learned something new. It kind of makes sense. He's like, hey, I don't have any air, so I'm going to set all the brakes. Even the imaginary handbrake on the locomotive. We're going to set it all. <laughs> I could just roll downhill now. We got it sorted. How quickly can we slow down? Always good to know before you get to the cars how quickly you can slow down. All right, let's get some air in these cars for sure. 50 tons a piece. Reconnect those. I'm too lazy to zoom in and move the valve myself. you off. Come here. There we go. Okay, 300 tons coming down the hill. That should be exciting. <laughs> Probably want to keep it about 15. Let's go ahead and put 10 pounds on. Squeak. <laughs> All right, folks, we're just going to get this down in the yard, and that'll be it for this job. Thanks, as always, for hanging out. I'll catch you in the next adventure. Take care.